Uh, so hi friends today we will be discussing what is the difference between an ARDL that is auto regression distributed lag model and a VAR model that is vector auto regression model for time series forecasting. Uh, so if you have seen my previous videos for all over ARDL and VR, VAR you must have get an idea ki how both of these work out. So both of them uses uh, the lag values of the forecasted variable as well as the other exogenous variables present exogenous means the independent variables present in the data set right so if we have forecast if we have three variables x y z where x has to be forecasted then in both the cases we would be considering the lag versions of y z as well as for x as well now uh, there has been uh, like all over the internet some confusion around key how ARDL and VAR model is different so today I will be discussing how these two models are different so first of all in case of ARDL uh, the lag order that is followed for each variable each exogenous variable is different so uh, if we have a uh, data set where we are having variables x y z where x is endogenous and y and z is exogenous endogenous means in, uh, dependent and exogenous means independent variable so when you will be considering x and y for forecasting z so it is not necessary that x and y should be having the same or lag order that is considered so it can be the case that we are considering a lag of order 2 in case of y but in case of z we are considering lag of order 1 but in case of var all the exogenous variables would be having the same lag order so uh, if you remember in my last video uh, var has just one hyperparameter to tune that is the order uh, of the lags that to be considered now for each variable present be it x itself or the other exogenous variables everyone has to be uh, uh, the lag version of every variable would, would follow the same order that is passed but in case of ARDL we can have different uh, lag, lag orders for different variables now the second difference is that in ARDL we consider the trend and seasonality components as well but in case of VR we are not using that uh, now one last point uh, of discussion is uh, in case of ARDL we have just one single equation forecasting all the uh, forecasting a particular variable so for example if we are if we have to forecast xt or xt plus 1 or xt plus 2 or xt plus 3 we will be following the same equation while in case of var uh, as we are forecasting new variable new value that is xt or xt plus 1 or xt plus 2 uh, the equation changes uh, so we will be having multiple equations for forecasting multiple values but in case of ardl we will be having just one equation for forecasting a particular variable now uh, when we say we will be having multiple equations we will be having different equations it means that uh, the coefficients that are getting used would change uh, 